Hey everybody, it's Ross and I want to reach out to all the veterans today that on this Memorial Day that have served and sacrificed their lives for our country to make us a free country. You know, I take it take it for granted sometimes that I live in a free country. I come and go as I please. I have lots of freedoms and service men and women of the armed forces throughout history that have sacrificed or given the ultimate sacrifice their lives for my freedom is is a great great thing for me to get a hold of. Sometimes I don't think I appreciate it like I should, but I want to. And I saw I want to reach out to all the veterans. My father was in the US Air Force as a lieutenant colonel. I've met many veterans, talked to them. I support wounded warriors, the soldiers that have been wounded in service to our country is is a great thing for us as Americans. I'm proud to be an American and proud to live in this country and I'm proud to reach out to the service men and women that have given so much and so much of their their uh, lives, their energy, their patriotism for my freedom. I've never served in the military. So it's it's hard for me to grasp many times how families feel when their daughter or their son, father, or brother has lost their lives in service to our country in the military or have been wounded uh, traumatically for our country. But nevertheless, I appreciate it very much. Memorial Day is a time of reflection. It's a somber time, but it's also time of celebration that we can say we live in a free country because of these brave men and women who have courageously served our country and many of course have given the ultimate sacrifice their life. So if you're hearing this and you have suffered a loss in your family, uh, in the military, whether it's your son or daughter or, or brother or father, I reach out to you and say thank you. And my heart and my prayers go out to you and your family that I recognize it in my heart and I ask God to help me to recognize it even more as I grow older. You know, I think of a verse in scripture, it says in Timothy, suffer as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. You know, the Apostle Paul told Timothy that there will be suffering for the cause. And so many people, soldiers, men and women, have suffered greatly for our country, for us to be free. So thank you so much to all your veterans that are hearing this, to all the families of veterans that have lost their lives for our freedom or have been wounded in battle for our freedom in, in the United States of America. I'm proud to be an American, and I know you are too. So God bless you and your family in this time of reflection and rest. May you have time with your family, and may you be encouraged on this particular day in the year. Until next time, hope to see you somewhere down the road. God bless you. Take care.